Jason Scott, behind the camera, rocking that shit, right? All the time, 24-7, making it happen. CDC is a neo-Marxist, anarcho-socialist terrorist organization forged for the sole purpose of getting on TV. you had war games I was part of the war games kid that was like a thing because you saw war games and you're like at the right age and you were very excited about this that was BBS culture stuff and then by the mid 90s and DEF CON you had early internet stuff going on so people were primarily on the net um, the hacker thing but you had that hackers movie I guess it's movies man like just this goofy cyberpunk stuff and the funny hair and you had Mondo 2000 Wired was new that kind of stuff. And it was like a lot of people in the Bay Area were making lots of money all of a sudden. These kids in their 20s getting rich. And like, so they're kind of like typical kids in their mid 20s doing kid stuff, but with lots of money. Um, the first hacker cons were absolutely just parties, it was just meeting people. And then anything that any knowledge transfer that took place was behind the scenes. It was while you were having a beer. It was in the room full of strippers and coke. It was, uh, you know, while you're in the pool, uh, as opposed to a sort of a organized knowledge transfer. However, when you've got, you know, it's it sort of, a, as it developed, it turned into, okay, we'll have a speaker, we'll have one room. And then eventually it was like, oh, we have too many people, too many people to fit into a weekend. We'll have two rooms or three rooms or whatever. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean that the, quality of the information is <laughs> that's being transferred is better uh, but you can reach more people <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about, sir? I hope so. Because you're going to learn. You all got to learn. Because we got all the schools in Paphos. How we do it? How we do it in the Texas town with our cows. And it gets lonely out there. And those dark nights with the Texas towns. And we hear them cows in the wind. DEF CON is like, you could say DEF CON has changed in that you could say it's a sort of a trade fair in some ways to a lot of people. It's like a job fair kind of thing. But that's cool. That, I mean, the industry has changed. The whole scene has changed. And that's not bad. I mean, this stuff is important and people need work and it's a good place to get it, right? So there's maybe a bigger focus on that, but we could still do our stuff. A lot of times people will throw around the term media circus in a derogatory term. Um, however, I don't think that's correct. And I think, I think that DEF CON is the best media circus out there. I think that nobody does it like Jeff does and nobody does it on the same scale or as effectively. And I think that that's important, uh, you know, especially coming from a cult of the dead cow standpoint, a media circus is nothing but good. When I say dead, you say cow, dead, cow, dead, cow. When I say kicks, you say ass, kicks, ass, kicks, ass. When I say dead, you say cow, dead, cow, dead, cow. When I say kicks, you say ass, kicks, ass, kicks, ass. I mean, it's always a partnership, but it was our thing. We, like, DEF CON expects a certain thing, like, the guys at a podium talking, right? We're like, nah, we're doing something special. Like, I know Obscure Images came up with this great video, and that was a big thing. And we brought in our own sound system because, you know, they got the guy at the podium. We, we need a big sound system. We're trying to do a rock show. We think of CDC as a band, and DEF CON as a stage, right? So you got to make this happen big. So that means you need a sound system, you need real lights. We brought in our own lights, like rock lights, because that's what we want. That's sort of the model. It's the band thing. That's what we think of. So, yeah, I mean, we... 
It was the venue. DEF CON is the venue for a performance because you want to go big. We got the hardest working man in show business, Mr. Reed Fleming. Woo! Also the world's toughest milkman. Also the world's toughest milkman. Next we got Night Stalker, the official crazy old guy of CDC. Also known to ride shotgun in Demon C to Lee. Omega, model for the movie Pie. Woo! Hiding in the back, we got the high priestess of CDC, Lady Carolyn. <laughs> Behind her, we've got brand new CDC member, the exclusive, who is also our monster truck mechanic. <laughs> well, you, you know that you know the whole story beforehand when uh, uh, ISS wanted a copy of the source code um, and basically uh, asked for it in advance, and we're like. Uh, well, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll send you a, a copy of the source code if you send us an official request. And then, you know, they fed us in a, FedEx us an official request um, for, for an advanced copy of the source code. And we're just like, oh, shit, we don't want to send them. <laughs> they called our bluff. So then uh, we amended it to a request that said that we'd send them a copy of the source code for $1 million in a monster truck. And uh, they, didn't, they did not choose to take us up on that offer. This is around VO2 time. We had some kind of release. I don't remember what it was. But there was like a German uh, TV team coming, like a German press stuff. And we decided we were going to play them. So like we had a suite, the suite of the elite. We had a, a big room. And uh, we set up the drug table. It's like fake drugs because we're, we're going to blow these people's minds. So we had like cups of pills, all these white powders laid out everywhere. And we had dudes coming in like while they're doing the interviews, talking about technical stuff, right? Interviewing Dull Dog or whoever. And we had guys coming in the background, like grabbing pills, snorting whatever it was, sugars, not <laughs> sugar, um, snorting these white powders, just put on a show. And it was hilarious. And it blew their minds. Just, this is like, yeah, this is how we do it. It's ridiculous. It was funny. It was shtick. It was great. And that's the thing, just stage, putting on the show. And it's so fun. Like, this is your shot. This is your once a year shot. You put on the show, and it's fun. Everybody has so much fun. It's great. I need to talk about that all the time, but sometimes oh, I like that. I like them horny cow horns. Don't know, don't know, don't know I tell you that's a sign of Satan. That's a sign of CDC. This makes me so happy.